Hi, and welcome to Steve Donna TV. Today we're going to discover a house that we have uh, read stories about that since they have been excavating the highway to twin it, the 103, we heard that there was an old home that they have discovered from excavating the land up here and it was built in 1920, so let's go take a look. And here it is. This building is known unofficially as the Bonavista Lodge. Much of the work of the house was organized by an American named Charles E. Bedford. Mary Ellen Sims was the one that heard about stories throughout the years of this old stone house. There was a ledger book that was found by Miss Sims here that belonged to Bedford, also a flask that had his initials on it. And here it is, it's over 120 years old, um, and it has views of two lakes right over here toward Hubbard's. was built back in the 1920s, which makes it over a hundred years old. He's had at least four owners in that time. The building is on the outer limits of the construction zone of the Twinning Highway. The Twinning Project might be able to avoid any direct impact to what remains of this stone building. The issue is the structure sits on the crest of a hill that may require blasting to bring it down to the current highway. This building may not stand a chance after that. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we were glad we got a chance today to see it while it's still standing. Thanks for watching Steve Donna TV. Please like and subscribe as you may be our thousandth subscriber. Thanks for joining us today on our adventure of the century old home that was just discovered off the 103.